What's up guys? It's me, Tony G, coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. This isn't going to be a numbered episode. This is just going to be the Las Vegas edition of the vlog. Probably going to get two or three episodes out of it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. All right, guys, just got here. Let's get to the hotel, check in, grab some dinner, and get to some poker action. Guys, if you're new here, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe buttons. Helps the channel out a lot, and it really helps me out. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Appreciate all my new subscribers and all my returning subscribers. Let's go. All right, heading over to uh, Planet Hollywood to get some Gordon Ramsay burger. Question is, afterwards, do I go to the Bellagio or do I hit up uh, Caesars for poker? First hand I get, I have ace jack, I flop an ace, I bet, call, turn, bet, and he folds and we take down our first pot. Okay, in this hand I am in the big blind, I have the king of spades, the six of spades, and the under the gun raises it up to nine dollars uh, everybody else at the table but the small blind folds and i decide to go ahead and get in there for nine dollars so we go three ways to the flop now at this point and the flop is the queen of spades the nine of spades and the six of diamonds so got a decent flush draw going king high flush draw i check and believe it or not, it checks all the way around to the turn. The turn is the five of clubs. I don't think it changes too much. I still have a king high. So I just throw out a small bet of $5. The uh, small blind calls and the other guy folds, the under the gun folds. The river is the queen of clubs. This time, uh, I think my bet sizing, I want him to call because I, I believe I'm good. Look at my cards and decide on a bet of $20. Uh, let me know if that was a decent bet or not for this situation. Ultimately, he does call, uh, but he shows down the ace of clubs and the five of spades. So we lose that one to a pair of fives. Here we 
go. Best hand in all of poker. I have the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds. I'm in middle position. It gets to me and I raise it up to $12. Everybody but the button, I believe, folds and we are heads up to the flop. The flop is the six of spades, the eight of clubs, and the jack of clubs. I should have bet after the flop, but I didn't. It checks to the turn. The turn is the three of hearts. I threw out a small bet of $5 because he looked like he wanted to fold. And sure enough, he does muck it, and I would just take down a small pot. Okay, let me start out by saying this hand is one I got into the guy to my left uh, because he was basically berating people all night and the way I acted during the hand was solely because he was treating everybody like they were just pieces of shit. So I did everything I could to win this hand from him and uh, yeah, that's why I did what I did. So yeah, I have the ace of clubs, the four of clubs. I'm in middle position. I just limp in and uh, three other people limp in. So we go four ways to the flop and the flop is decently favorable for us. It is the ace of diamonds, the five of clubs and the eight of clubs. So I'm on a very good flush draw going there and I have top pair. It checks to me, and I just threw out a small bet of six dollars because everybody at this table didn't like when aces came out on the flop. Everybody was talking about it all night, but the guy to my left decides to raise it up to sixteen. I look at my cards. Everybody else folds, and with top pair and flush draw going, I'm not going anywhere. I go ahead and call the sixteen. The turn is the beautiful two of clubs now I'm thinking about it for a second and I was going to throw out a, a decent bet maybe 20 25 dollars but I wanted pot control so I just check it and as I thought he would the guy to my left throws in a bet of 20 dollars and I just decide to call I wanted him to think I was still on a draw of some sort or maybe chasing this club anyway the river is the four of diamonds this time I throw out a bet of forty five dollars and he goes well into the tank he's staring me down he's trying to look at my stack like he's gonna make me go all in and says uh, I don't think you have it you haven't had it all night well ultimately he decides to call and I show him in his face that I have the flush and he just mucks his cards and doesn't show me what he has. He had been berating people all night, like I said, so I just decided to show the cards in his face, basically up against the plexiglass. Okay, a couple orbits later, I have the five of diamonds, the six of hearts. I'm in the small blind. It gets back around to me, and I just decide to limp in. Uh, they're not suited, so I'm just limping in. We go three ways to the flop. The flop comes out the six of diamonds, the four of hearts, and the three of hearts. I am the first to act. I decide to throw out a bet of $12. There is one fold and the cutoff calls, so we're heads up to the flop. I'm sorry, heads up to the turn. The turn is the two of clubs. Now, I check uh, because uh, even though I have the straight, I, I didn't want him to think I had the straight, so I just decided to check it over. The cutoff actually throws out a bet of $20. And uh, I go ahead and call. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere. The river is the eight of hearts. And unless he's playing five, seven, I'm not too scared about this. I throw out a bet of $25. Probably should have bet uh, 40 or more, but I decided on 25. 
I uh, don't remember exactly why I did 25, but he tanks for a good 40, 45 seconds. And he says, do you have the higher straight? And he calls and shows me five of diamonds, seven of clubs, and he has the higher straight and takes this down. Okay, before anybody says anything about this hand, I know as soon as the hand was over, I effed up, and the one guy at the table I was targeting even said I effed up and could have got more money, but here we go anyway. Okay, I have the Jack of Diamonds, the Jack of Hearts, I'm in the cutoff, I raise it up to $12, the guy to my left that was B-rating people all night calls. There's actually only one fold and we're six ways to the flop, which is the wonderful Jack of Spades, the Eight of Spades, and the Eight of Diamonds. That's right, folks. We've got a full house. The Big Blind throws out a bet of $25. And with about 95 left in my stack, 93 left in my stack, something like that, I decided to shove it all in there. I just say all in and there's 90 in the pot, so I didn't think it was that terrible. The guy to my left tanks for a minute, minute and a half. He asked for a count, asked me why would I do that, saying, what do you have? Do you have an eight? Do you have a jack? Do you have pocket aces? Ultimately, he decides to call, and the big blind folds, and he just can't believe his eyes sees the run out doesn't help him any and I flip over and show him the full house and uh, he's got to pay me up and he was pissed off about it but I took more of his money and uh, I got back to basically even or close to even and uh, yeah it was a good hand but I am curious could I have I gotten more value out of the big blind if he had an eight by not going all in this hand I, I won a couple hands by raising pre-flop and just took down the small pots whatnot but I have the ace of clubs the queen of spades here I'm in middle position I call the $14 raise and nobody else is uh, calling so we're just heads up to the flop I believe it's me and the big blind the flop is the king of diamonds the ace of spades and the eight of hearts I have top pair but I do check and he actually checks the turn is the 10 of hearts and checks around again. I probably should have bet, but I didn't. And the river is the four of clubs. This time, uh, I'm not checking. I throw out a bet of $20 and he shows me his king and says I fold. And we take down uh, that pot and it's one of the last pots of the night we get into. And uh, we book a win here. didn't get a chance to do a mid-session update but as you just saw I was in for 300 out for 409 I played for three and a half hours up and down up and down won that last big hand with the uh, full house and uh, won a couple more small pots and just decided to call it a night book a win I'm gonna go get some sleep now well I hope you guys enjoyed that if you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life. As long as you're living the felt life.